Okay, today what we're going to do is use the Sketchbook app, and we are going to create a drawing of a wintry landscape with a snowman. The first tool I'm going to use is my technical pen, and I want to make sure it's black. I can tap this little circle up here to select whatever color I want choose the color that I want from this circle and I can choose any shade using this diamond. I can make it lighter, darker, sort of gray or neutral or pure saturated color. In this case I'm going to choose the darkest shade. I'm going to make it black. I'm going to start off as always on a landscape. I'm going to draw my horizon line. Then I'm going to draw my snowman. I'm going to draw a nice circle for the head, a medium sized circle for the body. The next thing I'm going to do is use my eraser tool and I want to erase this line that's going through the snowman. I'm going to make my eraser just a little bit bigger to make that job easier. And as always I might want to erase some other little bits to clean up the lines on this circle if they went over. I'll go back to my pen tool and draw other details like I'm going to give my snowman a face. I'm and then I look at this picture and think what else could I add? Maybe I'm going to add the moon up in the sky. I might add a little evergreen tree over here. I'm going to give it a nice tree trunk. And I need to make sure I close this shape. Do you see that little white gap there at the top? I want to close that so when I color this in, color doesn't spill outside through that gap. And just like I did with my snowman, I'm going to erase the horizon line where it's going through my tree. And this is good enough for me to start coloring now. Up on the top toolbar, I'm going to select my fill bucket, and I'm going to change my colors. Maybe I'm going to make the sky a nice dark blue. So I can use my fill bucket and just tap inside that sky to make that blue. I'm going to make my tree a nice evergreen, so I'm going to make it a nice bright green. I'm going to make a brown tree trunk. I'm going to make a nice bright yellow moon. I'm going to color my snowman's hat and scarf. I'm going to make a nice colored pattern on there. Now I just realized I have a open shape right here, so I need to turn off my fill bucket. I'm going to use my pen tool again. I'm going to turn my pen tool black so I can draw that line. Now I need to match the color that I had for this purple, so I'm going to tap and hold on the purple, and this pulls up what's called my eyedropper tool, which will let me select and then match a color. Now my pen is purple again. I can use my fill bucket to tap inside and color in that shape. I'm going to use the eyedropper tool again, so tap and hold on the pink so I can match that pink to fill in the rest of those stripes. I'm going to give it a nice bright orange carrot nose. I might turn off my fill bucket, use my pen tool, and maybe I'll make little snowflakes coming down. just making little dots all around for snowflakes. If I want to make this a little bit nicer, I might consider extra details. Like I might use my airbrush tool and add some shadows on here. I always like to make it a nice cool blue, a grayish blue, maybe a little bit darker. I lower the opacity on my airbrush tool and let's get the size just about right. I'm going to add a shadow on the opposite side from the moon. So I'm making like a C-shaped line 
and the base of my snowman on the opposite side from the moon because the light's going to hit it on the side that's closest to the moon. That means the shadow is going to be on the opposite side. And the more I go over this, the darker that shadow is going to start to look. I might also add a cast shadow next to the snowman. And I usually make it a little bit cooler and a little bit bluer near the horizon. And that's about it. So when I'm happy with my work, I'm going to go to the main menu up at the top toolbar, left hand side. I'm going to hit share. And I'm going to save this image to my camera roll.